The Powhatan County School Board finally addressing concerns from community members after an image of a student flashing a racist and threatening message on her arm went viral online. With some questions going unanswered for weeks, plus a postponed meeting, last night students, educators, and parents flooded the Powhatan High School Auditorium to talk about the bigger issues at play. 8 News reporter Sierra Krug has the story. Listening to the more than 50 speakers at last night's meeting, you could hear the passion in every person's voice. Some of the community's youngest members gave us a glimpse at what they're seeing happen inside school hallways. There were cheers, chants, boos, and even some tears as community members begged for the school board to listen to their concerns. Make no mistake, these were death threats and they should have been treated as such. Characteristically heavy turnout at last night's Powhatan County School Board meeting. Here's the picture that sparked this wave of fury. Controversy bringing in members representing the original Black Panther Party. Thank you. Arguing this language is a federal offense outside of school and questioning why behind school walls these words just resulted in an in school suspension. Community members say the problem runs deeper than this one image. I now have to take the time out of my day to come and ask adults to do their job. Protect me. This 13 year old girl looking directly at the panel of adult school board members. I feel as if I can't report anything because I know y'all keep it on the low, give it little investigation and consequences. And one seventh grader says he started the year inspired and excited. But he recalled an instance he says opened his eyes to the racism embedded in the school's disciplinary process. He says every single day students bully and harass him because of the color of his skin. Boy kept pushing me and calling me racial slurs one day. This happened for days. I stood up and I stood up for myself and pushed. He was punished with in school suspension. It was Powhatan parent Justin Fry's daughter's birthday, but he spent the night at the meeting because he fears history is repeating itself rather than prompting change. I graduated from here 20 years ago and dealt with it then. So you know what they tell me? The same kids I went to school with, they parents teaching the same thing they see. So my kids can deal with the same thing. A couple attendees questioned the scale of the problem. I'm not saying it's not happening. I'm just saying I haven't had that experience. I've been here 22 years. But more than 50 people begged the Powhatan County school system to take their experiences seriously. The school board agreeing there's a need for change and proposing a workshop to further discuss. And for everyone who didn't know this was happening or never experienced it, do you have enough stories now or do you still not see it? Thank you. The meeting ended with the school board acknowledging the community's concerns. They didn't give any explicit response to those specific suggestions, but one member did say she thinks there should be harsher punishments for racially motivated language. I'm Sierra Krug with 8 News.